this one's a little bit late, but I had to take some time to rewatch this fight so that I could make a better accurate video about it. Right off the bat, I thought Vlasov won the fight anywhere between 10 to 2 to 8 to 4. Apart from the second round, which is debatable, Joe Smith Jr. didn't do anything in the first six or seven rounds. And then he came back strong toward the end. And the rounds that he did win late, and I think I only gave him up to three, and that's still debatable. Not all of them. One of them, anyway. But when he did win those rounds, it's because he landed some big punches and hurt Vlasov. But apart from moments, literally just moments, and maybe one or two rounds where he really did turn it up, Joe Smith Jr. got absolutely dominated in this fight. <laughs> Vlasov must have had him on the ropes for like four rounds straight. If you were to string all the times he had him on the ropes or near the ropes, gliding along the ropes, you probably could have strung four rounds together, right? He outworked him. I mean, he outfainted him, outpunched him, outlanded him. They put a beating on him. There were, by the time he got to the sixth round, because of how little Joe Smith Jr. had done, I was thinking to myself, unless he gets a second win, and good for him that he did, he's going to get stopped. He was just taking a beating. Apart from a moment here and there, in the entire fight, Vlasov was just backing him up, right? Joe Smith Jr., who's known as a pretty tough fighter, strong fighter, hits hard, generally backs everybody up. Vlasov, he beat, he beat the crap out of him, basically. And it wasn't necessarily with big punches, even though he did land some big punches, and he had Joe Hurt, too, I thought, if, even if not as much. But it was the activity, man. He just, right off the bat, he took it to him and never allowed Joe Smith to establish any kind of a rhythm. Uh, took his confidence, at least a lot of it anyway, away from him. Right off the bat, went right after him. Lots of feigning, herky-jerky movement, tons of punches, you know, head movement, footwork. A lot of clinching, which I didn't appreciate early anyway, but then... By the midway point, uh, he had Joe Smith Jr. clinching him too. <clears throat> Low blowing, hitting behind the head, blah, 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 you know. The fight was a little dirty. But there was some tactical clinching initiated by Vlasov. And he did clinch later on when, when he got hurt. I thought he got hurt like three different times in three different rounds. Let me take a sip of my coffee. But, um, yeah... Apart from getting rocked here and there and Joe Smith Jr. stepping on the gas and pushing them back with activity here and there, he absolutely dominated Joe Smith, backed him up all night, had him on the ropes. It really looked like he was he was going to stop him with just activity and, and volume of punches. He cut him in the first round, I think by the second or third round. Uh, he had his nose bleeding, and he kept opening up that cut, despite arguably the best cut man's in the game efforts. To the contrary, I mean, you know, I think, I think a lot of uh, his success had to do with the aforementioned, right? His his tactics, technique, and just everything that he did, but also the size, um, Joe Smith's power. Just really, even though he did hurt him a few times, he wasn't that hurt, Vlasov. And he walked through Joe Smith for the most part. He just walked through him. Uh, I have to say he exposed Joe Smith a little bit, which, you know, I guess Bivol did also. It was kind of a very similar game plan. But basically showed that um, if you got boxing skill and... 
maybe what activity, right? If not youth, because I think Vlasov is getting up there in age. Um, you could basically, just as with someone like Gassiev, and I'm not saying Joe Smith is as good as Gassiev. I think Gassiev would murder him. But, you know, if you overload his computer, he's just, he's kind of a novice still, very much like Gassiev, and just cannot hang, basically. So, anyway, another disgusting robbery, uh, you know, of a visiting fighter in the United States. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, Vlasov should fight. I don't care to see Joe Smith fight anybody. He needs to have some bounce back fights. Uh, he needs to build from this. He needs to go back to the drawing board. Um, he needs to build himself back up. You know, he took an embarrassing loss. He needs to, you know, take a step back, go back in line. And Vlasov versus um, who do I want to say? Oh yeah, Baterbiev, obviously. Uh, that would be for lineal champ, right? Of course. So let's get that fight. It's the best fight to make in the division, isn't it? So let's get it in Russia. All right? Thanks for watching.